Do you still think these things are going to space? Aw, oh, that's adorable. Why don't you let me show you some things that might just cause you to question your belief in that. First, let me just ask you something. Do you even know how fast these space shuttles are supposedly traveling to be able to leave Earth? 17,000 miles per hour, and even faster at 25,000 miles per hour to leave Earth's gravity completely. Do you know how fast that is? Do you know how fast a bullet travels? A bullet speed varies, but it can go up to 3,000 miles per hour. So you're telling me those shuttles are going eight times faster than a bullet. Have, have you ever seen them take off? No, seriously. Have you ever watched them take off and then take flight and compared their speed to the clouds? When you get rid of all the noise and you just look at it versus hearing it and seeing the flames, it seems suspiciously slow. And remember, they tell us they go 17,000 and up to 25,000 miles per hour. They'll tell you a hypersonic jet speed is defined as anything going Mach 5 or 3,800 miles per hour. And they'll say, well, speeds have been reached of Mach 10 only in unmanned craft like NASA's X-43A. Current manned aircraft have reached about Mach 6.7. Mach 6.7 is 4,500 miles per hour. But there are supposedly dozens and dozens of astronauts who have gone 17,000 miles per hour. Why don't we look at what an actual hypersonic jet taking off looks like compared to a NASA rocket or a SpaceX rocket, in fact. Notice the clouds. There you go, Shepard. Keep watching. Starship. You want to see what a hypersonic sled traveling at 6,500 miles per hour looks like? And while some of you might say perspective, you're so close you gotta get a further vantage point. Well, okay. Still not far enough away? Okay. looks like it's moving as slow as if you released a line on a helium balloon and added some pyrotechnics to it. Oh, and you want to see what the astronauts look like in there? If they're actually in there. Lift off. Why would they put those in there? It's visual tricks to make you think it's moving. They're still as can be, because they're not in there. Loop. And launched it. No movement. No movement. Just spectacular. The launch of Soyuz MS9 and the beginning of Alexander Gerst's horizon so mission to the International Space Station, broadening horizons in science and space exploration. On board so again, to review, they tell us that the space shuttles go 17,000 miles per hour, five times faster than your fastest bullet, which you cannot see fly. Yet they also tell us that the uh, fastest speed ever reached by a manned craft was 4,500 miles per hour, and double down on it while saying speeds of Mach 10 have been reached in unmanned crafts. And Mach 10? is only 7,000 miles per hour. Mach 10, 7,000 miles per hour. So even in unmanned crafts, they're only reaching 7,000 miles per hour. And remember, that looks like this. Zero, fire. And NASA and SpaceX rockets look more like a slowly launched helium balloon. Oh, and speaking of helium balloons, do you know that's what uh, satellites are actually held up in the air by, they're not in space, they're on giant 
helium balloons, which NASA is the number one consumer of helium in the entire world. And when you compare the rocket to a known helium balloon being launched, well, they seem to have a very similar ascent. I don't know, that kind of looks like it's going as the same speed as that, especially when you compare the clouds just meandering by very slowly like a balloon. But of course all this for entertainment purposes. I don't really think NASA and SpaceX are fraudulent fake companies to propagate space so you don't realize where you really live and I definitely don't think that's just a remote control helium balloon. No, that's ridiculous. We live on a spinning globe. I evolved from a monkey and uh, water can definitely curve and stick upside down even though smoke can easily leave the Earth's atmosphere. And yeah, sure that's a rocket going to space. Entertainment only, people.